My name is Murphy0749. The 0749 part is silent if you couldn't tell. I am currently 22 years old, coming up on 23 years old in April of next year, and I live in the United States of America. It seems to me that we have a new zombies team on the horizon known as Obey Undead by Greg FPS, MC Zombie Slayer, and Grizzly. And I want to make this video by answering some questions on why I should be a part of this epic team. So sit back, relax. If you just found me via this submission, then feel free to subscribe if you'd like to check out my channel a bit further. I love doing speed runs, so if you're into that kind of stuff, then this is definitely the channel for you, or just zombies in general, I guess. So without further ado, we shall begin. The first Zombies map I've ever played is Keen Odor Toten on Black Ops 1 all the way back in November 2010. I played it at a friend's house, decided to give the mode a try since I've only played multiplayer at the time, and ever since then I got myself a PlayStation free, and I played Keno for hours and hours on end until the end of the year, and then ever since those days I've played every single Zombies map since. So yeah, I've been a boomer in the Zombies community for a long time. Now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest about this one, but my favorite Zombies map is honestly Spaceland. Now, I know what you're thinking, because, you know, it's a fucking infinite warfare, it's not even made by Treyarch. You think that why should I think a, a, a non-Treyarch map is a good map, let alone my favorite? I mean, like, compared to all the other non-Treyarch maps, I believe this one just sticks out the most. It's just brim with content you can do. Offers a lot of fun, unique gimmicks. The 80s aesthetic is just, it's on par. Love it. Also love David Hasselhoff. Pretty, pretty nice addition to zombies if I have to say so myself. And overall, it's a pretty good introduction map. Honestly, almost as good as freaking Shadows of Evil. In fact, it is as good as Shadows of Evil. And maybe even 9 to some extent, but yeah. That's basically my favorite zombies map. A good zombies memory that I have, which is kind of recent, was when I participated in ZWL back in February and March of last year. I played with Dame and his lovely friends from the European side of the world. Uh, it was a nice opportunity for me because I actually did, a, out of all things to participate in, a round 10 speedrun on Voyage. And let me just tell you, that was a fucking grind and a half just to freaking do, man. Anyway... But, I, I mean, I guess it was kind of fun to, because it was, like, my only opportunity to play with, like, big people in the community. And hopefully this Obey Undead makes me uh, do that a little bit more. So that will be awesome. Anyway, while we're on the topic of ZWL and whatnot, newbie, if you're watching this video, when is ZWC free, if you know what I mean? Funny enough, my favorite regular and wonder weapon is in the same map and only featured on the same map. My favorite regular weapon as it stands right now is definitely the Mauser from Origins. It may not be as good as a starting pistol from like round 5 to 10 when you don't have a pack-a-punch, but man, just pack-a-punch alone makes this weapon really, really good. I mean, like the Panzer just doesn't even stand a goddamn chance. And of course, if you didn't figure it out, my favorite wonder weapon or weapons is actually the Origin Staffs. I mean, it's like the most iconic wonder weapon I can think of at the moment. And I, as somebody who's played a lot of Origins back in the days, I can relate. If I had to pick one, honestly, I think the Fire Staff is the best. I know people say Ice is the best for high rounds alone, but dude, the fire is just so fun to use. And the upgrade process isn't the biggest pain in the ass in the world compared to the other four. So overall, I think... If I had to pick one, it would be the Fire Staff, but overall they're all pretty great in their own unique ways, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that much of a high rounder, let alone know my actual highest round that I've been to. It's mainly because I'm not into high rounds that much, and as you know, I'm mostly a Easter egg speedrunner, and if I ever do like anything related to rounds, it's usually like a round 30 or 50 speedrun, whether that be solo or co-op. However, while I was farming for Dark Aether for... Black Ops Cold War Zombies. I did manage to get to round 58, as you can see in the background gameplay there, so if you needed proof that 
that um what my highest round is then there you go but i'm just saying that if i were to you know do an actual like a high round attempt i'm kind of capable of it since i've done round 30s and 50s in the past and whatnot all right now let's move on to some more important questions why do i want to be a part and obey undead well first of all i kind of want to just put myself out a little bit more i feel like ever since 2016 i haven't done that that much I've mainly been on a solo path, and none of my content seems to just be out there for people. I'm not saying I want to do this for the exposure. I just want to, you know, meet new people in the community, get to know them a little bit better, get to know me a little bit better. Plus, you know, it's a new thing for me. I want to be more contribution to the community, if you know what I mean. Not to mention, I've already met with Greg FPS a couple of times. Trust me, me and him, we go way back. Zombies is not Fortnite. Now, as for why I should be a part in Obey Undead, well, it's for a couple of reasons. First of all, I've had a long history in the community ever since 2016, as you know. It's for over four years I've been with this community, and almost close to five years, actually. The other reason is because I had a bunch of relationships with people, mainly small people in the community. I've talked with them in Discord servers, I've been in most of their Twitch streams, and it's mostly in the speedrunning community, obviously, but I'm, as I said, I want to branch out a little bit more. I want to make more content revolving around zombies in other ways, apart from speedrunning and competitive zombies as a whole. The other reason is because I feel like I can contribute a lot to the team. I can help them grow as long as they help me grow in return, so it's a win-win deal in both scenarios. I know I bring a bunch of editing skills to the table that I can help them out with and whatnot. So yeah, like, if I contribute to them and they contribute to me, it's a nice payoff, and it makes me feel better, it makes them feel good. And it's what I've always wanted to do is to help a team like Obey Undead. And this is especially a pre, like, zombies team. Like, just pure zombies. That's just amazing. And it's the first of its kind, obviously. But just seeing this going on is just pretty amazing, if you say so myself. My unique qualities, apart from editing in Adobe Premiere and making thumbnails in Photoshop, I mean, I usually think ahead of time. I mean, I always plan out everything before I edit it all together. Hence why this submission, I guess, is taking a while to, you know, submit and whatnot. Because I took most of the first week to just plan what I want to do with my submission before i able to put everything down on a piece of paper, get all my thoughts together. That's what I usually do. And most of the time, I try to think outside the box with a bunch of things, you know? Like, I try to be unique with every video I make and whatnot. So hopefully, I'll be able to to take those skills and apply them to Obey Undead. Lastly, back in the day, I've had a couple of dozens of world records back in the, around 2018, 2017. I mainly did BO3, Infinite Warfare, World War II, and Black Ops 4 records because that's what I played the most. I don't have as much records as I do nowadays, but back then, as you can see on my channel and the footage you're seeing in the background, I was a freaking grinder when it came to these categories. And of course, I have to shout out both Plasma Jeff, Quan Chi 16, Sergeant Salt, and All Star, because those were my teammates that I got the co op records and most of them that you see on the screen right now. Finally, to wrap things up, I'm going to be doing a quick lightning round of the both the content creation questions and the streaming questions, even though I fell more under content creators, so let's bang those out real quickly, shall we? The types of videos I make are mostly speedrunning related, whether if I do speedruns myself or I make a montage combining other people's speedruns together. I've been making content ever since April of 2016. As of me making this video right now, I currently have 422 subscribers on YouTube. And lastly, I don't usually upload that often, but as it might look like it, I just tend to upload whenever I have something that I want to upload or show to the public, like a cool speedrun world record. But maybe sometime during the line, I'll make it a consistent schedule for you guys. Now, as for the streaming questions, I normally stream on Twitch, even though I used to stream on YouTube back in 2017, but then I decided to move to Twitch mainly because I prefer that platform over YouTube. Just like with content creation, I've been streaming ever since 2016. 
Compared to uploading YouTube videos, I don't stream that often, mainly due to time constraints, but I might get myself a proper schedule for when I want to stream and whatnot. And finally, as of the making of this video, I currently have 136 followers on my Twitch channel. Well, that concludes everything I have to say about my Obey Undead submission. Once again, I would like to thank everyone over there at Obey Undead for giving me this opportunity to join your team. Hopefully I make it into stage 2. If not, it was still worth a shot and it was fun making this video regardless. And if you're somebody who just randomly stumbled upon this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like, also check out my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord server in the description of this video. It's been a pleasure working with the people with Obey Undead. Hopefully I get into stage 2. If not, it is what it is. Anyway, peace.